hello friends welcome back to code tonight so we are back with another tutorial and this time we are working on uh, creating user subscription in paypal payment gateway uh, so for uh, creating user subscription first thing that we have to do is we have to create subscription plans so you can log in with your uh, developer account and here you will not see directly the option to create the subscription so what you have to do is uh, one way is you can go to the search and then type subscriptions and you can click on this menu and if you go below you will see paper business account and manage subscription on your account dashboard so you can open up that and you can get started with the subscriptions here So on the subscription plans you will see the subscription uh, you have already created so this is one plan that I have already created and you can go to overview and create a new plan okay so you can provide here the product name so we can say test product and here you can provide any random uh, ID that you want for the product so this can be the SQN SKU number and then you have to set the product type and you can select the industry and then you will need the uh, URL of the product and you can add any URL as per your product so here you can see we have two product here and we can select the product and then click on the next and here you will see the um, pricing of the product which you want to keep so we can say fixed pricing and then the next and here is the plan name so we can say gold plan and we can say next and here you will see the uh, currencies which you want to set and we can say one time fees so it will be five you can uh, put any number here okay so here you can put the price as per your requirement and this is all as per your requirement so i am just showing you uh, what are the steps so uh, when you click on next you will see all the details and you can say turn on turn plan on okay uh, so this will provide you a copy code option and if you click this one uh, then uh, you can try to paste it uh, so I will paste it on notepad to show you what it will provide us so this will provide you a code that will create these buttons uh, and when you click the button it will uh, start the process of the subscription uh, but this is just to show you how you can create the subscription from the UI uh, after this we will see how you can do that with the code and with the api's okay so guys one thing you have to remember here that when you follow this method it will create a subscription plan for the uh, production environment here you cannot create it for the uh, sandbox environment so that's why you don't have to create it uh, if you are uh, doing the sandbox testing now if you are doing the sandbox testing then what you have to do is we will see now in this tutorial okay so we will go back to the dashboard and um, so I will show you the code also so basically uh, if you don't have any subscription plan already then what you have to do is you have to first create the subscription plan and then you can execute the code for uh, assigning that to any user okay so these are these will be the steps and the first step will always be that we should have at least one subscription plan um, because we will need the plan id uh, in the subscription api okay so just now we will see um, what we need to do So don't you worry about the code part which we will which we will see now in the tutorial because we will provide you that link of the code and you can download all the code and use that so don't you worry about copying that or um, noticing that code uh, you just have to understand how it is working okay so we have this um, buy subscription button and when I click on that button um, we are calling this create subscription method 
so as i said the first step uh, if you don't have any subscription plan already then what you have to do first is you have to create a uh, subscription plan okay so i have provided few default values here you can change the values dynamically as per your requirement uh, so guys uh, like we followed the steps on the ui the first step was the uh, product okay so we had to create the product there so similarly we will first create the product here so we will hit the api uh, for creating the product okay so for the product uh, we will need the access token um, for hitting the api so we are using the get access token method here so this is created here on the screen and this is the method that i'm using for getting the access token so as i said you will get the code in the uh, description link so don't you worry about that part so you can see we are getting the token here and then we are calling this uh, product api so you can see api.sandbox here so this is a sandbox environment uh, if you want to hit for production then you have to remove the sandbox from here okay so we are uh, calling the product api and we are passing the two values which is the name and the description of the product okay and uh, then we are uh, posting that data to the api and that will return us the product id uh, which will be created okay so you can see the status code uh, that is true okay so that means it is successfully created and here we get get the product id so similarly if you go on the uh, paypal dashboard uh, you can go to api calls and you can see the first api call is the products which we just did now okay and if you go there and check the response you can see that uh, it has returned the following data and, and this is the product id that we need okay so the product id that we got from here uh, we will need that in the in creating the subscription plan so we will pass that product id here in the subscription plan access token and then the other details that we need for the subscription okay so uh, i have set uh, default values for most of these which you can see here you can modify the values as per your requirement okay so here we are calling the billing plan api which is for subscription plan because we will need a subscription plan first uh, to create the subscription so this is the default uh, data object that we have created and uh, here you can modify the data as per your requirement like the amount you can modify or the currency so this is all uh, modific uh, you all you can modify so no issue about that so we will post the data to create a new plan and here it will uh, return back the plan which is it is it has created okay so you can see the plan id here okay so if you uh, go the if you look at the code that we copied earlier here also we have the plan id okay so similar plan id we have got from the api okay uh, now this code plan id you cannot use because this, this is belong belonging to the production environment okay so this plan id will not work on your environment but this plan id that we have created from the api this will work in our subscription uh, code okay so here one more thing you will notice is this is the subscription uh, id okay plan id and so we don't need anything else here so we will uh, pick that id and return so now this is the main part which is for creating the uh, subscription okay so we have passed the subscription id uh, plan id here and we are calling the subscription api okay so you can see we have passed the plan id you can see we have passed the plan id here and we have also uh, added the start time so uh, from when the subscription will start so it is saying uh, after two days okay and then you can see the amount here and then the details of the subscriber okay so this is the user detail that you have to add and this is the email address okay 
and then below you will see the return URL is the success URL and the cancel URL now these two I have created here uh, success and cancel okay so now what it will do is it will create a new subscription okay when we post the API it will create a new subscription here and in the response we have one so I will show you the response first okay so um, this one will show up so this is the subscription response it says approval pending because we have not made the payment till now uh, and in the links you will see that we have this sandbox link and here it says approve now this link is the link where we have to redirect for capturing the payment okay now the rest of the code is like that so we will pick that URL and we will redirect to that URL okay so in the API side also you can see that uh, we have this product API which we created now if you can search again and it will show up the new subscription uh, API that we uh, called and you can see the response that it returned okay and the uh, request parameters also okay so this was the uh, subscription ID okay and now here it has redirected for the payment of the subscription okay so you can click on create an account if you don't have any PayPal account so here what I always do is uh, for testing purpose uh, I just add the dummy details here and the dummy card details and uh, we will also provide your dummy card details in the um, article link that we will share so here you can see the agree and subscribe okay so when I click on that it will redirect to the success URL which is the this URL okay so now it will redirect back so here you can see the subscription ID now this is the subscription ID which is assigned to the uh, subscription after the user has paid the payment so this one you can save in your database and use afterward to know the subscription uh, so this is how you can uh, create subscription for any user in PayPal payment gateway um, if you think this works for you then don't forget to support us and you can also uh, uh, support us using the thanks option there and you can also buy us a coffee uh, there so that will help us okay so if you face any kind of issue then you can comment on the video and thank you guys